Hey y'all, it is by Devin Nails, and I'm so glad that you are here with us today. We're going to be putting together a set using Nelly Bells and Nails in a Coffin decals. So I'm super, super excited about this set. I'm going to be using Flocking Fabulous, which is this gorgeous light pink with just a little bit of a jelliness to it. So it is a little translucent, and I'm going to take advantage of that translucentness to do a kind of a take on a peekaboo and I'm going to combine it with meteorite which is this pretty gray color with shifting glitters that are just a rainbow of colors. So I'm going to start out with putting this um, flocking fabulous on a couple nails just by itself and I found this dip to be incredibly easy to work with. I um, just have the little sample sizes here, and my tips are just a little too big for the jars. Um, they are very, very full, so I thought I might have to pour it into a cupcake liner, but it is so fine and so powdery that I was able to just use it right out of the jar. So that was super nice and convenient and it went on really great. There are slightly larger medium pieces in this dip um, that have just a slightly darker color to it and have such a pretty shine and those were easily distributed with one layer. I'll go back and do a second layer on these tips just for good measure um, but it is a really pretty color even with just one layer and super even coverage. This is Meteorite and I've had this dip for a few months and I've used it only one time before, which every time I see it, I'm like, how have I not just been using this dip every single time? I love the color gray and I really like how this dip has so many different colors going on in it. It has these a few chunkier pieces um, that are sort of this white clear and they just grab the light and you can even see it here just in the jar. They're grabbing the light and they're just reflecting back so many different colors. So I knew I had to do at least one nail with just meteorites and I'm so glad that I did. And it looks so cute on my pinky there um, and it just catches the light and I love it. So I'm going to do um, meteorite on this middle finger also. You can see me here trying to decide which I want to do first because I want to put um, the pink over the top and I think it's going to create this kind of peekaboo glitter. Um, so I'm not sure exactly and but I'm really excited to see what happens. When the light catches meteorite there are some pieces in here that are a pink color similar to um, flocking fabulous. Make sure I don't say the wrong word. <laughs> um, and so I think it's going to look really good together. And I'm excited to see how the pink looks layered on top of this gray um, in kind of that peekaboo because um, the pink does have that translucentness. So I think you're still going to be able to see the glitters, but it's going to change them just slightly. So we went in with a second layer of meteorite for the pinky and I kind of scooted some of these chunkier glitters over to where I wanted them, but I didn't have to do any hand placing this time because I got pretty even coverage of all of the different pieces. And now I'm gonna go in with Flocking, flocking Fabulous, and I'm gonna use the tapping method. I'm just gonna tap it. Oh, and that's why you always use a cupcake liner because I just almost poured the whole thing out on my desk. So glad I had this cupcake liner there. And then I'm going to tap it off into this second one just so I don't accidentally get any of the meteorite into my pink. And I am using my Diplomatic Low Odor Liquids. They are just a tiny bit slower drying than my Zebra Glitter and More um, liquids. So it does give me just a little bit more time for this kind of ombre peekaboo tapping glitter. I don't even really know what it's called but I'm gonna dip it into that clear just to catch any other pieces that were sticky. And now I'm looking at it and I'm not gonna lie to you all, when I was making this fanny, I was like, oh no, what have I done? 
I was not loving how the peekaboo was looking right now. And I knew that I just needed to kind of trust the process um, and see what happened once I activated and did all of those steps. So I won't lie to you all because if you've made it this far in this video, I want to be transparent that sometimes you're making a mani and you're like, yeah, I don't know, this idea I had in my head, maybe it won't actually work, but I stuck with it. I didn't scrap it and we'll see at the end. I'll do the reveal. I did put poppets from I dipped that on to the ring finger because I'm going to be adding this just gorgeous book decal from Nails in a Coffin. And I love to put a decal over white. And the best part about poppets is, well, the best part is that it's an amazing white. The second best part, the cherry on top, is that poppets is a glow. So then you have a glow under your decal, which is so fun. So if you don't have a white that also glows, Poppets is your girl. So loving how the pinky is looking. Obviously, Poppets can't go wrong there. Still this middle finger at this point on the video, I'm like, yeah, I don't know what I've done. Um, I really want this Manny to look good, but I'm not sure if this is the stuff, but I'm gonna stick with it. Because sometimes things turn out and you're, you know, you gotta stick with it. So I'm going to brush off my work surface because I'm super messy and I'm going to get each of these a clear top coat. This is my KMG Clear as Day. I absolutely love this clear. I use it on top of pretty much every single set and I even use it on top of my decals. That's how clear it is. So if you're looking for a great clear, this is the one for you. So I'm dipping it in here. And I'm going to tap it off into this yellow cupcake liner just so I don't get any of those glitters into my clear. Sometimes I do. And if you can tap them in the top and then use either a swatch stick with some base on it or your next dip of your nails, you can sometimes catch those glitters. Um, so, you know, it's not the end of the world. If you get a glitter in your clear, it's, it is manageable. I also have a clear that I use only for solids with no shimmer in them. So pro tip from not a pro. All right, activated this middle one first because I was anxious to see what was gonna happen with it. And then I activated all of the rest and I'm gonna go in with a little buffer. Um, these, especially um, the fabulous one, it didn't take like any buffing. And I'm gonna do my decal first, that way I can do all of the buffing and stuff. I do use clear jelly stamper base coat. I switched to them from what I was using because I feel like the dry time is perfect for me. 15 seconds in the water and for decals, I try not to get the actual image on the top wet, especially a decal like this that had all of these fine little details because as soon as they get wet, they are water soluble. So you do start losing some of the image. That's going to be all decals. So it's not just these, um, all decals work that way. So the less time in, the better. So just enough time to get that paper off the back. I have this little silicone brush that I use from Clear Jelly Stamper. And I just cut off, especially when I'm putting them on tips, I just cut off all the stuff that I don't need. And I do do those little trims on the side um, to help them lay down a little bit more easily. And then they have just a little bit of place. You're putting a flat image onto a curved surface. So it makes sense. It doesn't fit exactly. And I just tuck under those pieces and this dried so, so nicely with that clear jelly stamper base coat. And I am loving the image. It is so vibrant. Even those little details are really showing up. I can't wait to show you all the reveal. I do a little bit of alcohol on top. And then I go in with my clear. So this is again, that clear is day from KMG. And I just do a thin little layer of it right on top of my decal. And this has solved a whole bunch of problems for me. I used to be nervous about putting the dip liquids on top of a decal. I thought it might make the colors run or things like that. I have not had that problem with either my diplomatic liquids or my zebra glitter and more liquids. So I can't promise that no liquids will make your decals run or that other brands of decals will, won't will run, but nails in a coffin with these two liquids and the clear jelly stamper base, that is my go-to now. 
um, just cleaning these up a little. I'm going to do a little bit more buffing on this, um, on this nail to get those glitters just how I want them and to make sure that my clear is nice and smooth. And then I'm going to do a little bit more buffing on this one too, to reveal a little bit more of those glitters. At this point in the video, I am feeling a little bit more confident about this middle finger. I can see the glitter shining through um, the pink. So I'm feeling like, okay, maybe I haven't messed this up completely. And maybe this, this is going to work out. This is going to look the way that I had imagined in my mind. Taking off a little bit of that extra decal that was wrapped around using my um, filing buffer just to buff it off. And then I'm gonna go in and do my activator for that clear. And all of the others already had their activate, so I just needed to do it on that decal. Y'all, look how clean my workspace is. If you've been around for a while, I think this is the cleanest mani I've ever done. So feeling pretty proud of myself. <laughs> Giving a second layer of activate. And then I will wipe that off um, any excess so it kind of soaks in and then I wipe off the excess so I don't contaminate my liquids. And here we go with the top coat. So this is the moment of truth for this peekaboo nail to see how it's going to look. I, I think it's going to look fabulous. So we'll see. You know, I had that moment of doubt in the middle, but decided to trust the process and see how it's going to turn out. There are these really pretty pink, um, kind of like a cherry blossom in the decal that matches the, this Nelly Bell's pink so well. So I'm super excited about that. And here you go, y'all. Here is the reveal. I love this book decal um, and it looks so good. And I do think I really like this peekaboo and how it turned out. Um, let's see if we can get the focus just right. I love that the kind of whiter clear chunky glitters really grabbed that pink color it kind of reminds me of like stones under the water and then on the pinky grabbing all of those colors and here is the final reveal all right y'all this has been by devin with nelly bells and nails in a coffin i'll see you on the next one bye y'all